First of all, sorry about the noise, it's the uh, workshop heater running full blast. I'm about to pull the vise off the mill table to do some more work on the motor adapter. But before I do, I thought I'd do a little job that's been hanging around for a while. And you can see here on the end of the mill table a hydraulic cable crimper. And uh, these are quite popular. You can, they've got a set of interchangeable dies that will produce a nice hex crimp. And I've seen these ranging from £100 downwards. This was a very cheap pair I bought. They were something like £22 delivered. And it's clear the reason that this particular set was cheap was they came off the reject pile. You can see I've got the dies lined up with a spigot sticking out the top of the top die. Well that's because it won't go into its locating hole. It's hard to get the lighting but if it was to fit into the locating hole the dies would be offset in two axes and I would not get a good crimp. So this is a relatively easy fix I think. I've just got to um, drill through on centre and then put um, a sleeve in to get the hole back where I want it. And these use a magnet as standard to retain the die but I've got no problem drilling a hole through the side and using a little grub screw, you know, I can always make a little um, thumb knob to operate it. But the interesting part of the job is how I pick up that hole location. You can see the bottom locating hole was just machined concentric with the end of the ram. And this hole should be concentric with this bore and it's clearly not I don't know how they they fixed these in the factory but obviously it wasn't that that great an arrangement and um, I mean the hole's sloppy anyway so my plan is that I have made a little spigot that fits into the diameter up close so I can hold this in a v-block clamp this down centre the quill on the spigot and I can drill through from the top and hopefully that will get this, uh, this fixed I sent it up over the, uh, the mounting spigot I've got the anvil holder or whatever you want to call it clamped down just with a centre bolt and a bit of strap and we can go ahead and establish a starting point with the centre drill and then I'm going to go through with an old cheap twist drill because there's a neodymium magnet buried in there and I don't want to damage a good drill. I just want to get the magnet out as the first stage. Well, this is uh, cast steel uh, by the looks of things.
looks like we did in fact push the magnet out effectively without damage. Okay, let's reassemble this thing and see where we've got to. So if I put in the bottom die and rather than making an adapter at this stage, I've actually just got a bit of um, tubing pushed onto the upper die which is a push fit into the hole. Let's try fitting the upper die first. Then the bottom die. Jack this thing closed. You have to make sure the dies are going straight. But the dies do in fact line up this way and also this way. So I think we can call that a successful repair of the tool.